Team Touche. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a day off, which means I am spending it with you guys. We are going to get in the kitchen today, as you see by the title, and my chef coat is on. I don't know why I haven't been official in my last videos where I've been cooking. I could have been thrown this on. It's time to get serious. I love Italian food. I love pasta. So today we will be doing a chicken fettuccine alfredo pasta sauce. And of course it's gluten free, but if you're not interested in gluten free, you can go ahead and substitute the gluten free flour for a regular flour. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right guys, so for this part, you will not see my head. I am so sorry, but we're gonna go ahead Light our stove and turn it on a high heat. Glaze your cast iron with olive oil. And once the pan gets hot, you'll put two tablespoons of butter. The pan feels pretty hot, two tablespoons of butter. Once you put your butter, you want to quickly add your chicken. Thinly sliced chicken breast. You'll add your salt as desired. Your pepper. Garlic powder with parsley. Garlic is really a good tasting seasoning for this pasta. Italian style herb. Just a little of that. Onion powder. Tad bit of the regular garlic powder. Let that get golden brown on this side, so I will check on it in the next seven minutes. While I'm cooking my chicken, I might as well start my fettuccine pasta. I have the other pot on a high heat and wait for it to start boiling for your pasta. The trick for best type of al dente pasta is to add a little olive oil. It cooks way better and especially with gluten-free pasta, it doesn't come out the same so we wanna make sure that we try to get it as al dente as possible. Al dente is basically, it's the most original way to cook your pasta for Italian dishes. You wanna get it nice and brown on the other side. All right, so we are going to set a seven minute timer for the chicken to go ahead and finish, and then we can start our sauce once the chicken is done. The chicken is looking good. I just covered it with a lid because you want to keep it nice and moist. I did lower the temperature to low. It's nice and tender. Our chicken is done. Now we will cover it with foil to keep it nice and moist. So we put foil over our chicken until it's cool enough for us to slice it into nice thin strips. Now our pasta water is boiling, so now it's time to put our fettuccine pasta in. Barilla gluten-free fettuccine pasta. I'm going to start making my own gluten-free pasta, hopefully soon. I'm looking for really good recipes, so if you guys know of any, make sure that you comment that below. So just go ahead and put it in the hot boiling water. I am going to keep an eye so that I can stir it so that all the pasta can get in there. The box calls for boiling your pasta for 13 minutes, but I think 10 minutes will be enough. I'm going to stir it occasionally. The recipe calls for three garlic cloves. You want your garlic to be finely chopped. The pasta just finished. Drain your pasta. So I kept my pasta water so that I could be able to use some of this for the Alfredo sauce. Now we are getting ready for our sauce. We'll light our stove and put it over a medium heat. We're going to melt half a cup of butter. 
stir in our butter. It's now time to add our garlic. We're going to stir this in and cook it for about 30 seconds. Some salt and pepper. One and a half tablespoons of gluten-free flour. Whisk that in. Slowly whisk in our heavy cream. We're going to put in two cups of heavy cream. We're gonna cook our sauce until it's steaming and slightly thickened. Shredded Parmesan cheese. Put it in a food processor. I love a lot of cheese. We're gonna chop it. The real stuff before and after. Let's see if our sauce is thick enough. Whisk in our half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Completely optional. I'm going to add some Italian herb seasoning. A little bit more pepper. A little bit more salt. Some garlic powder with parsley. Whisk that in. The texture is getting nice and thick, so I will remove it from the heat. So the last ingredient I'm going to put in is parsley. Whisk that in. Pasta water. Make it a little thinner. Put your lid until you're ready to eat. Our chicken is cool enough, and we are going to slice it up. Nice thin slices. Got a better knife. To try the chicken so delicious just tried the sauce i love it it's really good but i think i should add a little bit more cheese chicken in and mix in your chicken so that the sauces can marinate this is smelling so good. More parsley. I added some fresh basil. Time to eat before I wrap up today's video. First bite. I'm not that hungry because I actually ate before I started cooking. I wanted to take a bite or two before I start editing because I have to work early in the morning. I wanna make sure that I drop this video for you today. Two videos uploaded today. I hope that you guys are happy. First bite. Mm. This tastes like an authentic, oh my gosh. Super authentic fettuccine Alfredo. Amazing. The chicken, the sauce, everything just adds so much flavor into the pasta because gluten-free pasta is not that flavorful. Mm. This is so good. Mm. This recipe is so delicious. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Make sure you let me know what recipes you'd like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.